Plastic SA is the umbrella organization for the South African plastic industry, which represents raw material suppliers, the converters, about 1,800 converters, 240 recycling companies in various associations. We're also responsible for the training of the organization, of the industry, marketing, advocacy, and research, and then sustainability. Under sustainability, we have various polymer groups that are part of the of the council, which is Petco, the PET Recycling Company, uh, South African Vinyl Association, which is PVC, uh, Polyco, the Polyolefin Company, and the Polyolefin Packaging Council. Now, under that council, we have various projects that are uh, environmental related. Uh, for instance, we go back to the marine, which I think which is now the more important one for us because of plastic in the ocean, is we are part of the Global Action Team on Marine Debris. We have signed a declaration in 2011, um, and then after that, Packaging SA has signed a declaration, and we've now managed to get Ghana converted to sign it. So we're the only three organizations Africa that signed a declaration, and also together now with the World Plastic Council. Now that is got to do with what is our impact on the on the ocean, on the marine side. And last year we we have identified the Africa Marine Waste Network, which was launched this year as being the first network in Africa to really look at pollution in the ocean. And we are one of the members and one of the, the founder members of it. And the DPI Plastic is one of our sponsors during the launch and also for next year, a conference that we plan in July to bring African countries and various islands to the network. On the 7th of, of November, we're also having our first little session in the Etagreni, Durban region we are bringing 65 various environmental organizations together to see how we can work together to address marine pollution. So it's very important for us to, to actually get our industry also more involved. And that is where DPI Plastic is one of our main sponsors in this new network. The involvement with Plastic South Africa is, um, we've been part of the coastal cleanup programs uh, for a number of years now. Where we've been supplying uh, pipe and fittings uh, to manufacture bins, to store gut and uh, fish line and hooks. Um, and we've been involved in the cleanup projects as well. We feel it is part of our co corporate responsibility. And then in terms of the um, environmentally friendliness of our products, PVC, which is the main material that we convert, 57% uh, of PVC is derived from salt, which is not a scarce commodity. That makes PVC an extremely green uh, product. DPI plastics um, have been uh, carrying a number of marks with the SABS for a number of years, for more than 20 years. Um, the marks specify a SANS specification, which is a national standard. And the standard contains the, uh, the test requirements and the manufacturing requirements for the product. Um, due to difficulties at the SBS with um, testing and certifying products, DPI Plastics found themselves in a difficult position. And as a result, we looked for an alternative uh, certification body. Uh, SATAS was there and they uh, are a very good second choice as they comply with the SANAS uh, ISO 17065 standard, which means that they can accredit uh, us to the SANS uh, standards in South Africa. SATAS has also been around for a number of years, since 2003, uh, and uh, they've issued more than 300 uh, marks uh, worldwide. So um, basically at DPI Plastics, nothing has changed. We still manufacture the products to this relevant SANS standard, to high quality standards, and the third party body that audits us will be SATAS instead of SABS. We are running the marks uh, in concurrently for a while, um, but once uh, we are happy that the market is um, accepts the SATAS mark, that we, then we will drop the SBS.